ways to make Thanksgiving a little healthier this year. One option is to make sure that you bring a dish. Prepare a clean and healthy dish that you enjoy eating. It could be anything from a main course to just a simple plate of cut up veg and fruit. Then you will have something there that you know is clean. That you go to the gathering prepared with stabilized blood sugar. So having something with either fat or protein 30 to 45 minutes before arriving will help stabilize your blood sugar and you're less likely to get hangry and reach for the red velvet cake made of who knows what. Bringing some tea. Having some tea to sip on makes it less about the food and a little less awkward and more about community and gathering and that's really what we should be focusing on. It's not about the meal as much as the gathering, the community, and the holiday. And keep in mind that not everyone is as knowledgeable on what healthy foods look like. They might have vegetable oils, they might have inflammatory ingredients. So it's a good idea if you're eating other people's meals to take a digestive enzyme 15 minutes before you consume those foods. And then when you're done eating the foods, it's a good idea to take two activated charcoal tablets to help soak up the toxins. Now this is different if you're drinking. Um, if you're drinking, make sure that you take your charcoal at the end of your buzz. So maybe at the end of the party, at the end of the celebration, or right before bed. And when it's time to fix your plate, make sure that you get a um, majority of the plate with the veg. Veg are gonna have less concentrations of toxins and they're gonna be more filling. And your plate will look full. And remember guys, it's not the time to debate. So you're always gonna have that person that is curious and or argumentative about why you can't eat their food or why you brought your own food. Just nod and smile, possibly give them a gray rock technique, like that's interesting, or perhaps, and change the subject. It's not the time, you don't have the energy for it, it's not worth it. Holiday gives you a fantastic opportunity to practice mindful eating slowing down, enjoying each bite, chewing properly, concentrating on your breathing and really being present versus eating really, really fast and getting indigestion. And unfortunately, Thanksgiving is not always a stress-free event, especially if you have toxic family members or friends in attendance. Before you go in to Thanksgiving, make sure that you take a few minutes and ground yourself. Be present, breathe, and calm your nervous system down. You want to be in a parasympathetic state versus a fight or flight state. And when you are in the gathering, don't take anything personally. It's never about you anyway. Be more of an observer, like you're watching a TV show and say, oh, well look, there's Aunt Sally acting like a loony. And there's Tom trying to get a rise out of me. The less that you can react and the more that you can respond calmly, the less you will have a negative impact on your health. Use words like, that's interesting, or perhaps. It's called a gray rock technique and it can kind of diffuse the situation. They won't get a rise out of you and you won't get upset. Also, take a second. Anytime you need to go outside, Walk around, take your shoes off, ground, breathe, box breathing, where you inhale for four, hold your breath for four, exhale for four, and hold your breath for four. This will calm you again. It will make you more present, less reactive, and I guarantee it will be a little bit more enjoyable and less stressful. If you're finished eating, I always like to take a walk. If the weather is nice, grab a couple of family members and go for a stroll. If they don't want to go, go by yourself. It's always good. It can help lower the blood sugar, get the insulin back under control. It's a very good way to reconnect and calm down. It also cuts out that desire to keep going back for seconds and thirds and fourths when you're not really hungry. You're just looking for either more connection or something to do. Med caps. These things help blunt the insulinic effect if you are about to eat something that is high in sugar or high in carbohydrates or alcohol. A lot of times fat storage comes from an insulinic spike. So if you can take something to calm and kind of blunt that effect, then it'll have less impact on your waistline. So I like to take med caps to 
prior to any carb or sugar rich meal or before I consume alcohol. And be prepared, my friends. So while I'm cooking the Thanksgiving meal that I'm bringing, I also prepare some soups. Uh, the Cleanse Detox has fantastic anti-inflammatory cleansing repairing soups. So I prepare a couple of them and stick them in the freezer. So afterwards, the days following Thanksgiving, I can eat clean and take my inflammation down and help repair any damage that may or may not have been done during Thanksgiving. You know we like to move. So using Thanksgiving as an excuse to uh, grab one of the challenges, we will probably put up a Thanksgiving Turkey Day Challenge. Grabbing some extra movement, even if you have five, seven minutes before you go to Thanksgiving or the next morning, um, move your body. It's always a good idea. It will stabilize blood sugar and also help increase that dopamine, that happy, happy chemical. So because we know we need more of that. So there you go. You have tons of tricks and tips to help make this Thanksgiving the healthiest one yet. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Turkey Day. When in doubt, turn on the music and dance. Make people think you're crazy. It works for me. Happy Thanksgiving, guys.